to that guy. Yo, yo, hey guys, what's going on? Small Mouth Crush, another live video. Going to try to do these weekly. Oh, I'm hoping, hoping everything's going to work out. But uh, let's get into it. It's all coming up. Why do I have that in the background? Uh oh. Hold on, guys. I'm going to close that screen down. What's going on, guys? Hopefully you guys can hear me. Tonight's topic, yeah, I just kind of kind of chill and talk, talk about the classic. I want to hear your guys' picks and what's going on. I'm actually... Believe it or not, so I've been going to the Bassmaster Classic to help Mercury out every year since 2007 when Boyd Duckett won. Boyd Duckett won in 07. I've been to every single one since then. And it's a lot of fun. So it's mainly me helping Mercury out. And what does that entail? A whole lot of fun times, basically. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty easy. You got a pretty easy job. I don't have to sit and work a booth all day. It's none of that. It's just simply uh, handing out what we call thunder sticks, so noisemakers to the crowd. So everybody that comes through the door uh, for the weigh-in all three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, will we'll get thunder sticks. And we've been doing that, like I said, since 07. And then we also do a little Mercury show. So if you guys are watching the Classic, if you're actually going to the Classic or... If you're watching it live, you'll be able to uh, see me run around the marina, marina, arena during the uh, Mercury skit. We hand out a bunch of hats, T-shirts, and every year they pick somebody from the crowd to, you know, give away a motor or something like that. So it's pretty fun. Um, the rest of the stuff's pretty basic. Although I think they have me, I think we're entered in the Knoxville St. Patrick's Day Parade on Saturday and I might have to dress up like like a leprechaun and I'm like 6'3 so I don't know how that's gonna work I hope we don't have those tight tight uh, what do you call them I think I wore like yoga pants two years ago when we were uh, down in I don't know where we were Houston so that'll be good I'm just checking the comments here oh yes Ike's party we're gonna talk about that we're going to talk about that. That's always a good time. Been doing that for, uh, this will be my third Ike Live party. It happens on a Sunday night. And he basically invites the public. And then there's a little, uh, just a lot of fishing talk going on. I believe we, we tend to close the bar down uh, pretty good on, on Sunday night. So what I'm going to do here is I actually wanted to... Uh, pictures we're actually going to be filming so of course i'm going to be filming my my view from the classic and what that basically entails is i vlog a little bit the travel i hang out with my buddy matt stasiak who i fish with in the past you guys might have seen him in some of my videos we've been we, we can't, we're roommates so we share the same uh, hotel not the same bed but the same room and we have a blast. I mean, it's fun. We we like to hang out and have a good time all week. Get very little sleep, um, you know. But it's uh, it's definitely a fun time. Uh, let's see. Fantasy fishing. I have not. I haven't. I haven't played fantasy fishing since last year. I don't know if you know if they have. Uh, fantasy fantasy fishing anymore. In fact, this will be my first actual pro tour level event that I'm actually going to be kind of following more and watching. I haven't seen anything yet this year. I think it's just because I'm too busy, focused on some other things, and don't have the idle time that I used to. But, you know, it, I really liked the Bassmaster Classic a few years ago when it was like the first tournament of the year. It was like the kickoff. Now they had probably, what, one or two, maybe three events 
prior to the classics. So, I mean, it's fine. But I don't know. I'm sure there's a good reason why they decided to change it. But I always liked, you know, kicking it off in that mid-February, end of February when it normally was. And then start the actual tour, you know, come come March and April. But I want to share with you guys. So I'm going to try to bring this video up. And I'm, I'm probably going to have to have the volume on my mic off because I'm still getting some feedback here. Um, some guys chiming in. I'm going to get to those comments, hopefully. But I want to share a clip. If you guys haven't seen this, I'm going to share a clip of uh, just the early morning. Because every morning we, we also have to go to the launch to help Mercury, again, hand out beanies and thunder sticks. So... Everyone who shows up to the launch, we're there like two hours before these guys take off. So let's just say take off at 7. We're definitely there by 5.30, 5 o'clock, 5.30. And oftentimes, now we're fortunate this year, we're not going to have to be, I guess everything is centrally located. But I'm just thinking here, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, when was that? 2013. And I think we were there... In 2016, a couple of years ago, I mean, that was like two hours to Grand Lake from where we were staying every morning. We'd have to wake up or <laughs> change our clothes and be down in the lobby and, and walk out the door at 3 a.m. It was crazy. So let me pull up this clip of how sometimes we feel in the morning before weighing. It's out there. And this alarm goes off at all the time. Oh, hey, buddy. You awake? Yeah, boy. <laughs> Where was your hand? Hold my balls. <laughs> Dude. You all right? Yeah. You, you're in the same clothes you went to bed in. So? Are you going to get up? Yep. When? Right now. I doubt that. I'm going to put the camera right here. And it's going to walk. Make sure you get up. Right next to your beer bottles. Matt. I'm up. <laughs> Come on, man. I don't want to beep all this out. You alright, dude? Yeah, fine. What time did you get to bed? I don't know. Whenever I came in. What's that wristband mean? We got in. <laughs> you got in. <laughs> It's gonna be a good day, dude. No, it's not. <laughs> Why is that? It's St. Patrick's Day, bro. You can't rip that off. I had three of them on. Yeah, I bit mine off too. Yeah, there you <laughs> Come on, dude. We gotta get up, man. What time we gotta be down here? Five. I don't know. I is it five or five fifteen? Five fifteen. So it's 4.40 right now. Oh, we got plenty of time. Okay. See what I got to deal with, guys? No, actually. Yeah, hey, look what I got to deal with. That was me yesterday morning. Right here. You were worse. Not that bad. We're going to go hand out thunder sticks at the launch. Just suck it. We're in South Carolina at the Bassmaster Classic. I'm going to that guy with damn GoPro. Shove it so far up your ass. You don't say. Are you done? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what do you want to What are you videotaping me still for? <laughs> what are you still videotaping me for? Huh? Well, looks like Matt woke up. Thank God. I was a little concerned. That's, that's terrible. I was a little concerned, dude. He's grumpy. He's grumpy this morning. Me? I'm ready to go. Clean shaven? Not really. <sighs> Phone. Breath mints, check. Water, check. Travis. 
All right, so uh, there was a little preview of what, what I had to deal with in the morning. Although normally we're pretty ready to go. That was kind of an off day, I think. Uh, just getting to some of the comments yet. Uh, M. Jones, you're going to go broke here because uh, we're doing YouTube Live every week. But I do appreciate the um, – I still have to figure that out. What's it called? Super Chat? Awesome, awesome. Ron, let's see. He's buying a lot of Kitex based on my videos. Hey, they're awesome baits. <laughs> you guys are funny. You guys are funny. Patch Pirate from Nebraska. I, I, I used that line once, and now everybody from Nebraska thinks I hate them. So, I mean, let's talk. Let's see here. So, I'm like I said, I'm really looking forward to the classic. I don't want to... Uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen as far as the footage goes. We, we just kind of do whatever. We kind of go with the flow. But I'm going to try and stick around at the expo longer than I have in the past. To be honest with you, after 13 of these, yeah, I'm on number 13. Uh, the expo, you walk around and you kind of get out where back in the day I'd be all over the place. And it's just, it got so hectic. Um, and we have such a busy, you know, have to be up early. And then we do have to get to the arena at 3 o'clock. And it, it, get, it gets tough. But I do want to spend some time at the expo. And I want to do some, just some in-depth videos on some of the new products that are out there. Just anything that's neat that catches my eye. Maybe uh, we can get that going on. Epic Eric in the house. Love it. Eventually, Epic Eric, we need to get your, um, your, little, your little bass lab down there set up so you can do this with me. He promised. He promised. But I want to, uh, what do we want to do? I wanted to try to show you a day in life of the thunders. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, Sorry. So this is basically all we do. We just hand these, uh, these thunder sticks out to the crowd. I mean, it's pretty easy. They give us a really cool jersey to wear. And, uh... I mean, there's nothing to it. Then we get to go upstairs to the VIP lounge, hang out with pretty much everybody who's everybody in bass fishing. All the beer, all the food. How much beer do you go through, Craig? We go through a little. We go through a little bit. I think Matt goes through more than me. He can attest to that. But yeah, last year, so they dress us up like this. Again, we get to go behind the scenes. That spawner, that, that big guy there, he's a walleye pro from Wisconsin. Got my buddy Rod. And then we just get to, uh, like I said, we just get to hang out. I mean, look it. We can, we can see who's, who's got the most weight if we wanted to. We can peek in Skeet Reese's live wells. And then, of course, we got the behind the scenes. I got a little video. I don't know what that is. Are you going to give a – Rick says, are, am I going to do a giveaway for this year's jersey? I, you know what? I could probably do that. I was going to sell it and run a little low on funds. But, yeah, we could do a giveaway. Let's do that. This is awesome. Okay. Um <laughs> Let's take a look here at the behind the scenes. Come on. Let me pull it up this way, maybe. Well, that's not good. That was the best video. Maybe I can pull it up this way. Give me one second. Let me try something. Okay, so here's the behind the scenes deal. We're eating spawner there, eating a big old hot dog it looks like. But look at this. So we're right up next to the stage for, for Bass Live. I mean, the best seats in the house.
<laughs> We're not always hung over, Daniel. Appreciate it, guys. So here's Ike's party. I believe this is. I think we're gonna get some sound here. Let me let me see. Man, right here. Woo! Woo! Ah! at home. You're, you're part of this. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. So All right, ready? Folks at home. Folks at home. Watch! Ike Live! There you go! No, watch! Watch! Ike Live Con Queso Edition. Con Queso? That's with cheese. From Wisconsin? Might as well be. It's Wisconsin. I don't know if they make a chip from Wisconsin. I give up. I give up. All right. All right, there you go. Just a little peek of the Ike Live party. Uh, get some of your guys' questions. M. Jones, that's a really, really good idea. We might have to do that. We'll do a super chat raffle. I like that, man. You're good. You're always thinking. So when I'm going to be back in the 920, I'll be back in Wisconsin in May. I'm trying to still work out the schedule. I think it'll be the end of May, early June. I'm going to try to fish that, um, what is it, the Wisco Bass Pro Deal, sponsored by the real shot and see if we can uh, do some damage out of little sturgeon bay in june so i might jump into uh into it yeah it normally is a sausage fest bass monkey it normally is let's see let's do the ending because i actually wanted to only go until about 8 30 i want to get to some questions I'm still learning this, guys. It's going to get better down the road. Let me just give you a quick update before I forget. I'm scattered all over the place. I had all day to figure this out, but I just got too busy because I leave like right away tomorrow morning uh, for the Classic, and these new baits came in the mail. I wonder if Epic Eric can identify that. By the way, what's up with Instagram and Facebook tonight, or actually the last six hours? I was trying to let people know I'm going live, and I got nothing. So uh, I got to do some investigating. Hopefully it's not me, but... What is this, Epic Eric or anyone else? What is the name of this crankbait? Uh, spinning rods are, oh, I, gotta, I gotta stay on track. Okay, so where was I going with this? Okay, so we go to the classic. Then the following week, I'm actually gonna be driving down to Alabama and I'm gonna fish one of the top bodies of water this time of year to catch a heck of a bag of smallmouth. Now we've, from what I hear, there's some some high water, although it's receding every day, and it, it should be okay. But right now, the, the bite's pretty much non-existent, which is scary. We're a week, a week out uh, from my scheduled trip. But normally, this time of year, you can expect, if you're fishing with the right person, and I think I'll be fishing with the right person next week, a pretty good bag of smallmouth, sometimes pushing the 30 pound mark for a five fish. So I'm looking forward to that. We're going to be, we're going to be filming a bunch of videos. I'll be out uh, doing that for about two days, excuse me, uh, two or three days. And then we'll be back here. I got about a week and a half to get ready for the first tournament on the Chesapeake Bay. And uh, then it's full fledged guide trip season. I mean, nonstop, which is great. We'll stay on top of the fish, but let's end this and then we'll, we'll answer some questions. I want to show you guys the ending here, the live Ike Live party, or some of the stuff that that goes on. Let me turn that down for now. All the pros show up. We got Steve Kenny to the left, Chris Zeldane. I don't know if that guy's a pro yet. Matt from Bass Talk Live. BJC. I am. Just one. Way to end. The I don't know. A lot of laughs. Uh, I think I'm just talking here. You get the point. It's a good time. That's right. M. Jones, I am going to Pickwick, but uh, that high water hopefully didn't mess things up too bad. We'll find out. I'm looking forward to it. He's on some largemouth. There you go. Eric, you got it. Chippewa crankbait. 
What is going on here? Crazy. That's right, Chippewa. So when I went over to Eric's house the other day and we were looking at all of his, I don't know, millions of crankbaits he has laying around, he was talking about this Nasheen crankbait that they don't make anymore. And he still said that that dude's still in business is, is making some great crankbaits. And he said, I really need to look into this one. Um, and so I went on Tackle Warehouse and, of course, found a bunch of them. And, man, they are they are a sneaky little crankbait. I will give you that. Maybe I can get my hands on some of those old school ones, though. Did you buy the high or low float? I got the low float, too. I don't want to get into it right now, but yes, I do. But no, guys, so I, I appreciate you. Just a real quick little deal. Kind of give you the rundown. We're going to have a more structured live moving forward. Our next live will be Wednesday. It'll be the, the night that I get done fishing or filming uh, with my with my buddy Ryan. Ryan fishes on the FLW Tour. This is his rookie season. I believe he cashed checks in every single event so far. So he's having a pretty good year. And I've known him since, man, We he, I probably met him in 2009, 2010, somewhere around there. And uh, we've just, uh, we just been hanging out when we can. I saw him last year when I went down to Gunnersville in the fall for the championship. And so he guides full-time. If you look at his, uh, his Facebook, it's just loaded with big fish, largemouth and smallmouth, especially this time of year. So... When we were planning this a few months back, he said, you know, that week after the Classic, you got to get here on Pickwick, and we're going to see if we can put something together. So I'm hoping that works. I'm hoping that works out. But we shall see. But So, yeah, we'll, we'll do a Facebook Live that night kind of talking about our day. I'll have him with you. Uh, I'll have it, Ryan with us as well. And then moving forward, we'll have a little bit more structure. We'll actually... We'll have some topics in hand, and I just won't be rambling off the top of my head, paying attention to all these comments and just trying to trying to get by with some open topic here. But if anyone has any other questions, I appreciate you guys uh, hanging out. I want to know who's going to be down at the Classic. Let me know in the comments. And I'm just looking forward. I'm looking forward to going, looking forward to catching some big smallies on Pickwick, and then looking forward to getting home. Am I really looking forward to getting home? Yes. Because I got a lot of stuff to do yet. Um, I just spooled up all my rods and reels the last couple days. We're finally done with that project. I have four more spinning rods to, to still spool up. And my tackle is perfect. I mean, it's it's we're ready to go. We're definitely ready to go. So I'm looking forward to that. And with that, guys, I appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We got to say that. And as always, until next time, we'll.